Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We're going to be talking about the online aspect of NBA 2K series. Now, um, these are a few issues that need to be addressed for NBA 2K15. There's a lot of high hopes that I have, but uh, let's hop into the video and let's get down to it. And the basket by Johnson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I want to tackle is stabilizing the gameplay for NBA 2K15. Now, of course, a lot of people are probably going to say, what do you mean by stabilizing the gameplay? I think online is beast. It's just a problem with the servers. Well, look, I'm here to talk about these servers, man. 2K servers, there has been a problem with these servers for years now. There has never been one good year of these 2k servers every time NBA 2k series drops a game each year there are always server problems I have a question to 2k now I have never got a straight answer whenever I ask somebody so I'm just gonna ask it in this video and hopefully somebody will get back to me maybe somebody has a little bit of insight but with the 2k servers are these servers dedicated servers or are they listen servers are they dedicated or are they like primarily host based that's what i, I kind of want to know now the reason behind that is with dedicated servers you have to pay for these servers and we know that you know you got to put out the money and it's costly to have dedicated servers and you know the company may not have the money to back it but at the same time if you have dedicated servers you really won't have many problems stabilizing the gameplay but I can understand if you guys are going with listen servers where you don't have to really relatively pay anything and you just base it off the host where I notice when I'm playing up against somebody I do notice that if I'm trying to play a friend on my PlayStation 4 sometimes my friend will drop like and but he has beast internet and sometimes one host may get the game going but if the other person invites them to the locker room the game might not even happen so my thing is if you guys don't have dedicated servers i believe that it's time to invest in dedicated servers or if you do have dedicated servers i think you need to invest in more servers more manpower and be very tedious with the 2k servers you need to test them daily i mean every 24 hours you need to test your servers so that people won't have problems now like i said i've played people you know and games have been dropped saying you know can i connect to 2k sports server or the 2k sports server is offline or you know something weird and also with the, the new locker codes thing a lot of people try to redeem these cards and it says invalid cannot connect to 2k sports server the server has been overloaded like you know there's a lot of problems with the 2k server so I think you know to nip all online issues to nip them in the bud you need to fix the 2k servers whatever you need to do you need to invest just go ahead and invest in it a couple mil do what you need to do now uh, let's talk about online association you need to bring back that mode like that mode right there like friends just love playing online in franchise mode you know the current gen version it's cool you know but for next gen we definitely needed that and you gotta definitely rebuild my gm i'll talk about that mode later on but online association definitely needs to make a comeback a lot of guys like that franchise style of play playing up against their friends and is definitely needed now uh, this is another thing i want to talk about create an online hoops league like you know the black top is cool you know the black top is great it's fun you know you get to do moves and ooh, i crossed them and i dunked and i did something miraculous that wouldn't happen in real life but do, do you notice what ea is actually doing? i'm sorry to bring ea into the picture but they kind of get it you know um with nhl's eashl a 5 on 5 league structure with user created teams and jerseys and skill based divisions and monthly championships 2k you guys would eat off of that if you guys did that you like straight up would eat now let me talk about another thing in online before i get up out of here does anybody feel like there's a button delay when playing online now i'm not talking about offline i'm talking about online does anybody feel like when you try to do a move and you press a button it seems like it's a big delay it, it kind of makes the online unplayable like you really have a problem with playing 2k now playing ea games such as madden you really don't have that problem so you know i kind of want to figure out what is 2k not doing right on the 
the internet online gaming aspect of things to you know catch up to some of these other games that have great online experiences that that's my main thing so you know the the meat of this video is definitely please fix the 2k servers not like to tell you the truth i want you guys to scrap whatever servers you got had right now whatever whatever y'all got right now throw it in the trash get that brand new shiny thing out of the store you know just like you know if you go get a brand new pair of sneakers and you say hey you know what these mjs is old i'm gonna cop these new mjs like that's what i kind of need you guys to do because online could be great but the service is just the biggest problem with the game you know also um and to to kind of piggyback off that having to connect to the 2k servers for every single mode literally probably puts too much of a pressure on your servers like just imagine how many how many copies were sold for nba 2k 14 next gen so think about how many people are connecting to the server daily how many people are connecting to your server, bringing it down, and you guys have to actually push out all that information to all these people for every single mode they play? Just imagine a million people play NBA rank match. Then they go into my career. Then they go into my team. Then they go into my GM. Then they go into features and put in the locker codes. Every time they go into each thing, they have to connect to your server. So, you know, I just feel like some of the modes just need to be straight up offline based. And then if you want to make an online based version of that mode, then that's what you would do. The only mode that I could see would do that would be my GM, which would be like my GM online or online association like I just talked about earlier. You know, I don't see my career online unless you guys bring in a my career connected career type thing. You know what? I'm not. It seemed like I'm kind of, you know, giving you guys all of EA's ideas. So I'm going to back off. You know, I'm going to stop talking now. But I'm just saying EA doing it with the online experience. You need to get like them. But, yeah. But, uh, 2K, we love you. But, uh, you know, your 2K servers, uh, terrible. But, um, this is IKC signing out. The next video in this series for my NBA 2K15 wish list will be on my career. And I have a lot to talk about. So, you know, I'll drop that video soon. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Literally, thumb it up. And um, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.